Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarai and today we have another fall makeup tutorial. Fall makeup tutorial. If you'd like to see how I created this video, please get comfortable. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And I hope that you enjoy watching this video as usual because I always have fun creating it for you guys. Even if I have to record this introduction or the end of the video like 20 times, it doesn't matter. I enjoy it. I love it. I love creating makeup clothes. I love putting makeup on my face. And I don't love putting lashes on, but they look cute. All right, guys, enjoy the video. As usual, I have already done my brows. My face is ready for makeup. And we are gonna go straight into doing the eye look. Even though the main palette of this video is going to be this Physicians Formula, this is a butter collection with Casey Holmes. This is a fairly old palette. However, I was walking around TJ Maxx a few weeks ago and I saw it either, yeah, it was TJ Maxx. I saw it for $7.99, so I have to get it. It's brand new, I still haven't used it. But the eyeshadow colors that it has, it only has four eyeshadow colors, with of course, which of course you can create a look with this four. However, I find that they're a little bit too dark, so I want a transition shade. So I will be using, just for the transition shade, this Chasing the Sun palette from Joa Cosmetics. And once again, it will be only for the transition shade, which in this case, I'll be using the shade right here is the lightest shade. And I will be applying that all over my lid. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more of that. It is, this palette is actually very, very pigmented. And if you haven't tried out Joa Beauty yet, you might consider giving it a shot. It is a drugstore brand. I believe it's owned by Kiss Cosmetics, but I have already tried and I've used in my channel some of um, their palettes, another eyeshadow palette that I have. I've tried their lip glosses. They are so good. They are really, really good, so they're definitely worth a try. Okay, so now I'll be going into this palette and I'm gonna grab a little bit of this shade. I can tell that it's very pigmented and I am going to apply that on the outer. Yep, there we go. See how pigmented it is? Now I'm gonna go with the shade right next to it. It's just a tad bit darker. Mm, a tad bit, okay. A tad bit sounds about right. And then just blend that out. Okay, now we're gonna go with this beautiful green shade and I'm so tempted to use my finger. Ooh, you see that? Ooh! So I'm bringing you a little closer so that you can see how this is how it looks with my finger. Sometimes the finger works, sometimes it doesn't. And this is how it looks with this brush. Um, this is a brush from Luna Magic. It's not labeled, so but I just packed the shadow into this brush and then I just, my eye likes to just misbehave when I'm trying to apply shadow sometimes. I'll just do it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I am gonna go back and just blend everything together because this is a little messy and that's okay. Just blend away. Okay, so the lashes are done. The eyes are almost done. I went ahead, the only thing that I did is that emerald or green color, 
I spray my brush as usual with a setting spray so that it could intensify the color. Now we're gonna go with foundation and I will be testing out for the first time this Revolution Conceal and Define. This is a full coverage foundation. I am in the shade F8 and uh, not sure what that shade that is. I think they just go by the numbers. Hopefully it is a sh good shade match for me. Feels really good. Ooh. And just so that you know, um, I was trying to find how many ounces. Oh, it's 0.8 of an ounce. That's something that I brought up on my last video uh, in regards to a different foundation that I was testing out. I think it was the Revlon one. So just, wow. Look at that though. I should have just done one half first so that you could see the difference. Freckles and sun damage. Okay, pretty impressive. And also, I am using the Real Techniques um, sponge. I forgot. I, I think this is a fairly new sponge. So just so you know, once again, this palette, because I actually didn't even mention what's in this palette. So it has a bronzer. This is the deep bronzer. Then it has a copper cabana blush. And this is just beachy highlight. And then these are do not disturb, no filter, tropic like it's hot and pumps, pumps. Then it also had the lip balm that I'm wearing right now. And here is a perfume, which I have it somewhere else. But, and also just in case you don't know, this palette does look a little shimmery. The bronzer. Ooh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Perfect shade for, for me. I'm a little bit pale. Um, I really didn't do anything this summer has been way too hot and i'm like nope the house it is <laughs> so now i'm gonna go with the blush such a pretty shade and always remember that when you are applying your blush you want to smile and apply it on the top area of your cheekbones. I feel like this is not blending out nicely. I'm gonna have to check the other side. All right, so now we're gonna go with the highlight. This is what it looks like on my finger. I kind of want to swatch it. I'm like really curious. Ooh, it is a very beautiful shade. Look at that. All right, so mm, I love highlight. Mm -hmm. You see how pretty that is? Mm, wow. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly apply probably the darkest shade in the palette. I'm gonna apply that shade on my lower lash line and then we are almost done with this video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this Dewy Setting Spray from H ABH Cosmetics. Um, the reason why I wanna do Dewy is because I use the old matte setting, um, the old matte foundation. First time using it. Mm. Ah, smells good. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful, mm. I love how it smells. 
smells. It's lightly scented. Probably should have applied a little bit more. The one last thing that I want to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and use a mascara by Il Maquillage. I showed you guys this mascara on my Itsy video. This is what it looks like, and this is the Icon High Volume Mascara. And I'm just going to mostly focus really on my lower lashes. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. Of course, as usual, I love the eyes. I think that greens is a color that definitely goes well with my skin tone. I, I, I just love that color. I am obsessed. And now I wish that I had actually used it sooner because I've had that palette sitting in my room for probably two, three months now and it was just untouched. So overall though, let's go, let's do a quick recap. I think that the shadows are probably my favorite out of this palette. Um, the shadows and also the, no, the bronzer as well and the blush. I, I guess we can say that the highlight wasn't really my favorite. It's just a little bit too chunky for my taste. And the lip gloss or lip balm, what is it called actually? It is a lip, a butter lip cream. So that is really beautiful. It feels so comfortable on the lips. And let me quickly check to see if it has glitter chunks as well. I don't think it does. It is shimmery as you can see, but it doesn't have glitter chunks like the highlight does. But overall, I really enjoy this look. I think it is perfect for fall. So once again, this is another look to add to my fall uh, makeup looks. I think this is actually my third video. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, as usual, please make sure that you give it a like and also subscribe to my channel. I am gonna try to post more than one video per week, but let's see how that goes. As always, thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you in my next one.